probably that. And then what else are you getting done? My stomach lipo because my body's more like in now, so I want my waist to go a little more in, and then I'm gonna have it transferred to my butt, so my butt's just a little more round. I oh, should I show you the before and afters? I oh, should I show you the before and afters? Okay. All right, so we just saw Trisha use Logan's ego to get her way with him. Now let's see how she uses her vanity to get her way with Ethan. No, I, I would like, I follow you on other socials. I just don't want to see your fucking vagina and asshole and tits. It doesn't come out of my scars. Only Trisha.com if you want to see some boobs, you know, fucked up. But like, I know, nice. again, with peace and love, I think it's the worst boob job I've ever seen. <laughs> So not true. No, it, I've never, I've down. never seen <laughs> such scarring before. Can I show it now or no? No. Well, we can't show it. Yeah, oh. we can't show it. <laughs> okay. Um. And I, and frankly, no, I because I showed the guys that impulsive, and they said that they looked fine. Like seriously, and I was like, I know they're fucked up, they're whatever, and they're like, let's see, and I was like, okay. Well, I, actually, I offered. I mean, I've seen, I've seen them. But they're and they were like, those aren't bad. Well, yeah. Also, Trisha, like, your tits are falling out, dude. Are they? <laughs> no, they're in. Usually my nips are out. Because one's higher than the other. Like, this one's super high and this one's super low. Why Why they be like that? They be fucked up. I have, like, horrible scars and shit, too. But this one's really high, so it always pops out. But I think it's in. So Isn't one titty good. always higher than the other one? Well, not nipples. Mine are, like... Oh, they're fucking fucked? <laughs> yeah. One points north, one points south. I'll I mean, show it to you. I feel like Dylan's no? shaking his head yes. Yeah. Sure. Look. See, this one's higher. Spencer, your laptop. It, oh, higher by what? Like a quarter of an inch? No, people always make fun of me for it, but it goes viral. So I had one go viral. And like, so these are from the lift and it cut, it cut open because I fucked the day I got my surgery. Yeah, I'm going to be so honest with you. That's enough. Up. Thank you. Like, and because I'm like, because everyone on Twitter tells me, well, you're, the, gonna, you're gonna, the Twitter troll. Who's going to look you in the face and be like, your tits are fucked up, lady? No, because I even said, oh my God, look how fucked up these are. Like, I was excited to show it because I hear it on Twitter all the time. I was like, oh my God, my tits are so fucked. Let me show you. And they're like, no. And they were brutal with me. Like, honestly, I did not like Logan. I didn't care for him when I went on the podcast. Like, that whole, they were very misogynistic in my opinion. So you so, showed them the tits on or off? On camera. Oh, they just blurred it? Uh, yeah. And then I, and they were, the whole time they were kind of nasty to me during the interview. So like, that was the time I'm like, oh, well, this will say something. And they were like, oh, like those aren't even bad. Like, and they were brutal with me like the whole time, by the way. So I wasn't like, I don't think they were being polite. Can, can I ask you a personal question? <laughs> yeah, of course. And, and and this isn't meant to be like offensive. It's fine. Or, you can't or, offend me, I promise. Are you sure? Because you walked in here alone and yeah. uh, I, I don't want you to feel like it's a room full of men <laughs> ganging up on you. There are two your women mom. in the room. Pa his, your you mom is here watching mother. this conversation. Just, about just know you're safe. I'm not here to, to attack you, bring you down. Are you going to rape me? No. Oh. <laughs> That's not gonna what happen. Is happening? What's, Guaranteed what's, what's, not gonna okay. happen. What is no, happening? No. Okay, what is it? You're like, uh, you feel safe. Okay, you've made a couple of videos. And I, th I think you've, I, I think you've removed all of them where you're like, and you're crying. It looks like you were up all night oh, yeah. and you just let the camera run and run and run. And you're clearly, uh, distraught and disheveled. Yeah. Why do you make those videos? I literally just do it for like someone to like reach out, like just like people. And like, I don't have friends. So like someone that I'm like an acquaintance with will eventually reach out. Oh, this is making me sad. Yeah. <laughs> have you, I, we, I've been talking. Don't be a sad. Lot. It's really fine. It's okay. It's it my doesn't life. sound. It doesn't think, sound. Fine. I push people sound away. Good. Like no, it's it's really like I push a lot of people away. Like and I know this. You know what I mean? Like I I always do. Like I always find something wrong with people. So like it's my fault for sure, a hundred percent. Well, that sounds like a defense mechanism. I don't think any. I don't want any human to say I I don't have friends. You know what I'm saying? And then like it's and not. then and then blame yourself for that. You're not. You can't be that bad of a person. I huh? think so. I think I'm pretty toxic. I, I was the self awareness is great. <laughs> I mean, wow. Say <laughs> okay, but you, okay. So you're I'm I'm slowly like getting your quirks down. Okay. Your self awareness is is seems to be on point. It is my opinion that the only reason why Trisha is trashing Logan now is because of what happened at the end of the podcast. Just because Logan stood up for Jason, that's the only reason why she's trashing him now, and nothing to do with him being misogynistic. That wouldn't have mattered to her if Logan would have backed her up at that time. Look, I don't.
don't care. Like my boobs are my boobs. I mean, I'm, I get boob jobs all the time, so I'm ready for another one. And I'm just like ready. But like, if you keep doing the boob job, does it help? I mean, yeah. at a certain point, do they like take it out and redo it? Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah. So and full restart. This is better than what it was. Can they change your skin? Yeah, they changed my nipples. My nipples used to be like, and now they're like. You got new nips? Mm -hmm. I can't feel them. Moses always like, and I'm like, I can't feel it. He tries. I'm like, and there's no Don't sensation. Don't bring up your sex life with Moses, please. <laughs> and then what else are you getting done? My stomach lipo again. I had one lipo and it did it did help because my body's more like in now. So I want my waist to go a little more in and then I'm going to have it transferred to my butt. So my butt's just a little more round. So you take the fat from your stomach and you put it in your ass. Yeah, I that's did that pretty, one before. That's a pretty epic procedure. I, oh, should I show you the before and afters? Can I show that or no? Let's not. He says let's not because before and after pictures, really, they can't show it on the podcast. They can't show it to us. He was just like, Ugh. that's why she was asking and he was saying no, because really YouTube standards, what you can and can't get away with. He was like, uh, he didn't want that headache. So he said no. Okay. Because <laughs> it's insane. You wouldn't believe it actually. So it she really wants to show Ethan. Now, I'm sure we all know what before and after pictures look like, especially let's say if you're getting implants. The picture logically would be before the implants and after the implants. So more likely than not, she wouldn't be wearing a bra, right? So she's going to be showing Ethan her new body. And as we've seen before, Ethan had to block her. She would send him nude pics. And now she's continuing what she did before and showing him her nude pics under the guise of medical information. This is not salacious. It's just informative. Is it to make you look skinnier or to contour your body or what? The yeah, it brings your waist in. Can I just show you? I feel like I could just show you. Yeah, you can show me on it's your It's medical. Phone. It's like, it's like, you know what I mean? Are you afraid that like, what do you think about Kim Kardashian's ass? Because I feel like it looks like outrageous. Wait, why do you think it looks bad? Because it looks like she has two tumors on her ass. It looks so unnatural. I haven't seen it. Are you sure? Maybe it's so Photoshop. Sometimes people Photoshop no, no, things no, that I they're haters. The right well, let me see. Okay, here it is. Oh, no. This is way more No, but like... <laughs> see right there? Ethan took a first look. And what did he say? This is way more information than he needed. That's why I know she showed him full-on naked pics of her, whatever. Even if it was a picture of her arm, it's going to be her whole full naked body and her arm. <laughs> and not just a picture of her arm. So look at Ethan's reaction. This is, okay, first of all, I'm not going to lie. My body was fucking disgusting before, but now it's like kind of like legit. Okay, this is, okay, you guys, <laughs> I'm just going to describe what I'm seeing. You don't have any nip. Where's your nipples? <laughs> yeah, they're a little high. The nipples got fucked up in my boobs. What? <laughs> it looks like you don't yeah, have nipples. Um, They're like, they're right there. Like, see, you can kind of see. <laughs> yeah, they're, okay, my nipples are high. Like, and not going to lie. That's, oh, my God. Yeah, the Trisha. starts are. So, wait, this is the, okay, okay you guys. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing she's butt naked and she doesn't have nipples. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan, I don't know how, but I have yet to see a nude picture of Trisha and I want to keep it that way. So Ethan, thank you for taking one for the team because your facial expression, your reaction, your comments, it's all giving me a visual that I rather have in my mind than to see what you are actually seeing. So again, thank you for that. Um, and the, but like, wow, I mean, I will, is that crazy though? But why do you look more tan in that one? This is like a fake before and after. Ethan is so funny. He's calling her out, but fake before and after. I don't believe it is fake, but even while he's looking at the pictures, he's questioning everything. Remember, this is Freddie B's episode number two. This is when Ethan still questioned everything that Trisha said. What are you talking about? Because this one you're pale and this one you're I got tan. spray tans because I had scars where my lipo was. See the lipo scar? So I was getting spray tan so the thing are lipoed. But look at my waist. Like my, even now my waist, yeah, I gained some weight back from this photo, but like my waist is still in. Like they brought my waist in and my hips. You see they took fat from here and put it on my hips. And then wait, the this. Oh. <laughs> look. But look how much rounder it is. <laughs> she showed me her ass and it's fucking. What are the three dots there? <laughs> He's just pointing out all the imperfections. But again, she is showing him her butt. Full on, no underwear, no. This is her butt just after surgery. And whatever. So, okay, she has a couple of dots here and there. I mean, Ethan is just exaggerating because, I mean, really, how horrible could it have looked, right? But again, I love, I do love how Ethan is playing it up. That's the lipo from the back. So they took fat out oh, of the back. Mm-hmm. They even got your back fat? Yep. And then where did they eject it into your ass? So they put some on the hips and then the ass is right there in the crack. 
Ew, why is there something in your crack? <laughs> That's the scar. That's the stitches. Looks like you got poop on your crack. <laughs> It's not poop. It's stitches. So, yeah, that's that. And then I, I got my arms done, too. Let me see if I can find the arms. There's the arms. That's the after. But my arms were, like, crazy gross, too. Like, those are my arms before. I did gain some weight back. So, like, my arms are still kind of gross. But they're not as gross as they used to be. Anyways, it's whatever. So, wait, I hate my you, body. So, so... So I want to give it to Ethan right now. Ethan, again, thank you for taking one for the team. We all salute you right now. This is why I'm giving it to Ethan. Trisha is his co-host, dating his brother-in-law. Ethan is a married man. It was a balancing act for Ethan. And I just want to say, Ethan, you played it perfectly by having that facial expression like what you saw was the most disgusting thing in the world. Because really, you guys, I'm sure it wasn't. But that is the perfect play for a married man. To just look like what you're looking at is so horrid, but you just have to because of your job. You're just informing the public. Like the weatherman that stands in the middle of a hurricane to like show us that is very windy and raining outside even though we could just look out the window ourselves yeah ethan thank you for taking for doing something that we could do if we just you know looked up our of now this is the before and after i wanted to see trisha before ethan crushed her existence and trisha after hello darkness my old friend again you played it perfectly ethan and that's the way to do it the end this episode is called Love Triangle, right? Trisha showed a naked picture of herself to Ethan. I wonder what Moses has to say about this. Oh, yeah. I think I forgot to show you guys this part. Mm. We'll have to consult with my expert Jew lover, Moses, but he's not here right now. And I wish he was. Dude, you're he knows freak. all this stuff. But you ever. <laughs> I, I don't want to know anything oh, about it. I love him. He's not here. Like, this is the longest we've been apart. It's so weird. Like, I like, I never. Do shit. Moses wasn't there that day. And what did she do that day? She took out her phone and showed Ethan naked pictures. Again, she's smart. You can take this a couple of ways. One is Moses. How dare you not be with me when I go to the client's house? Because remember, Moses is her little shadow. And the fact that he's not there means she does not really know what he's up to. And he's off doing his own thing because there's a reason why he's not there that day. She might have went home and then after later on when the podcast airs, they could have been watching it together and this scene is going to pop up and um, it's going to be like, well, why are you doing? This? And it's like, oh, well, you weren't you weren't there. This is what happens when you're not there to babysit me, Moses. I just do off the wall things. If you were there, you would have stopped me. And I know some of you might be thinking, oh, Moses doesn't care. He's all about no judgment. We're going to get into that later. There's no nothing behind that. Okay. Jealousy. Jealousy is a really big emotion. And a lot of things are done because people are jealous of other people. If you know how to manipulate jealousy in people, you can get a lot of things. Why is it a big deal? Well, I believe that Moses is jealous of Ethan and that she can show her naked pictures to anyone. But Ethan, she knew it would affect Moses differently because Moses is jealous of Ethan. That's what I think. And again, you can still not believe me or not believe my theory. Look at this text message that Moses made to a friend of his at the time. And it's so odd to me that that is what he said. Isn't it funny? Ethan saw her naked before I did. So this is going to take us back to the Bachelorette podcast. So before he met up with Trisha, because they said the first day they met up, they slept together. So before he first met up with Trisha, he's commenting now that isn't it funny? Isn't it interesting that Ethan saw her naked before he did? What an interesting thing to say. Like, why is that on your mind? Again, Trisha shows her body to everybody. It's on her Twitter, right? Something that you can see as well is not just exclusive to Ethan, but I guess he was referring to one that she sent specifically to Ethan. And just so you know that by Frenemies number three, Moses was back in studio. And I think the only time he wasn't in studio after this was when they did the Dr. Jew episode and they purposely made it so that they didn't want Ela or um, Moses to be on that episode. This is why I know Moses is jealous. 
I think I set you guys up long enough. Watch what happens here. Um, but then I had to go home, film OnlyFans, had a big orgasm, so I feel You a did that? Better. All in that gap? I squirted and it hit the camera. I showed Moses. It, oh, it stopped dude. recording with my squirt. Like, that's no how powerful way. it was. We had jelly donut. I put one of these up me for my OnlyFans today, so it squirted jelly inside my... You squirted it inside you? Yeah, I was like this, watch. And then you squirted that in your vag, mm -hmm. the juice? It went inside me and then out me. How did you squirt it out? I squirted it out. Oh, so oh here's one. I here, got one for got, you. Yeah. yeah. I brought it for you guys. I was in a better mood once I came. <laughs> Do you want to? Oh, I want to check. You see right there. You see right there. Do you want? She was so proud of it. She came onto the show talking about it. And right there, she said, Do you want? And she stopped herself. You want me to show me? No. And Ethan, you saw Ethan picked up on it right away. You want to show me? And what was her response? No, oh, Moses looking mad at me. I no, Moses. Again, what happened on Friend and Me's episode two? She took out and showed Ethan her nudes. Moses wasn't there. We're all the way now at episode 12. She wants to show him something and she stops and she says, no, Moses. So you, you don't think there was some kind of discussion after episode number two on what she can and can't do as far as Ethan is concerned from Moses? Because right now she's stopping herself. Oh, Moses looking mad at me. I Watch Ethan. Ethan is so perceptive. At time, Ethan doesn't know what's going on. And at other time, he's like hypersensitive. He just zooms in on this. Because when she said that, it caught Ethan off guard. I always want to show you Gross. my squirting because I'm always so impressed. Wait, you'll get mad if she shows me the squirting? Whoa. I have to pause right here. I have to pause. Ethan says, wait a second. You, Moses, will get mad. And look at Trisha. Trisha's like smiling. You will get mad if she shows me. What do you think Moses' answer is going to be? Moses is all no judgment. Love everybody. Let people do, you know, they're free to do what they want. His girlfriend at the time is an adult entertainer. Ethan says, are you going to get, would you get mad? What do you think the answer is going to be? Let's see what his answer is. Yes. Okay. This man said yes. This man said yes. Yes, Ethan. I would be mad if Trisha, my girlfriend, who's an adult entertainer, shows you a picture of herself naked. I'm not saying Moses shouldn't be mad. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying that he is mad, okay? That's what I'm saying. You guys still don't believe what I'm saying is true that Moses is a jealous person and he's jealous of Ethan? Okay, let's continue on. Trisha says, oh, okay, okay. Like she's kind of letting it go. Oh, really? But it's on OnlyFans. Ethan is shocked. Oh, really? And of course, the first thing he says, which is what a lot of people would say, she's on OF. She's an adult entertainer. What's the big deal? And now again, you can have certain boundaries and just because you're an adult entertainer doesn't mean you want everybody to see you naked. But Trisha wants Ethan to see her naked. She didn't see a big deal about it. She wants Ethan to see her naked. She wants everybody to see her naked because it's on Twitter. So is what she wants to do. Mr. No Judgment here, Moses, has a problem with it. And that shocks Ethan because Ethan doesn't have a problem with it. So if Moses is the no judgment guy, and again, I'm saying this for a reason. We're going to get into Moses later on. Moses, the no judgment guy, is having judgment on Ethan. And Ethan, the one who doesn't have that kind of philosophy, is shocked and rightly so. Why is it a problem? It's not a problem for me. Why is it a problem for you? Yikes. Let's see what happens. Okay. You see how Logan was tested by Trisha and he's going to stand firm in something and then he's going to have to back away? He, what a fucking little pussy to break up with me because David Dobrik tells you to. That's why. Because can I tell you after we broke up, he was sneaking me into his house for like three months and telling me to park my car for like five blocks away. Yeah, so been, no I've been there. I've been there. Shit. I've been there. Why? That's fucking a pussy yeah. move. Why nope. you do that shit? No, because why? You, you want to hook up with your girl, but your boys don't support. So Cause... fucking grow some balls and nah, be like, nah, this nah, is... bro, nah. Why are the you problem scared? Is, no, the problem is I have balls. That's the problem. One minute later, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I so I just I, I lied there too. I'm lying a lot on this podcast. Yeah. My love for Jason, pretty much like I'm trying to back up Jason because I love Jason. I, I Moses is doing the same thing where 
when Ethan said, why do you have a problem? Because Trisha doesn't have a problem, Moses, and I don't have a problem. So why, Moses, do you have a problem if Trisha shows me a picture of her naked, right? Mr. No Judgment, why do you have an issue? What's your hang up about this? And Moses realizes that at that point, because Moses said at the beginning, no, he doesn't want her to see, no, 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 no. But now he has to back up. Now he has to, Moses knows, Moses knows. I'm telling you, he knows his own philosophy and he knows he's not following his own philosophy right now. Mr. No Judgment, why now are you judgmental? Because these two people right there have no problem. So Moses, what is your problem? And Moses says, realizing his contradiction in his mind, I'm sure sure he picked up on it because he said you should get a subscription as in no if you want to see her naked you need to pay to see her naked you're not going to get a freebie because you are in the family no you are going to pay to see trisha naked five dollars sign up pay then you can see her naked and I'd give it to Moses because let's just say he's not judgmental and not jealous, but he's going to be about his business and he's going to say, nah, you want to see her naked, you pay. If that's his stance, he could be non-judgmental and say, no, you have to pay to see her naked. And I wouldn't be mad at Moses, right? Because he says, nope, the issue is you have to pay. <sighs> let's see what happens next. I showed Ryland. He didn't care. Boom. Trisha knows what she's doing. She's playing off the jealousy. With Logan, it was ego. But with Ethan and Moses, it's jealousy because she's quick to say, I showed it to Ryling and he didn't have a problem. Moses, why didn't you tell Ryling you need to get a subscription? Why? Why does Ethan need to get a subscription, but Ryland doesn't? Why? What's the reason? So she has to throw him under the bus right now because she's pointing out it's not about a subscription thing because Rylan was allowed to see her naked. So what's the issue with Ethan? Tell us, Moses, what's the issue? Wait, wait, wait. You all, he said something and I really can't make it out. And I don't like saying what he said. If I can't say I heard it, because right now I'm not really hearing anything. If you can hear what he's saying, please put it in the comments or what you think you heard. Would you be mad at me if I went and watched your squirting videos? And so, Ethan is not letting up. Would you be mad at me if I go and watch her squirting videos? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at this part, it sounds like when he goes, would you be mad if I go and watch the videos? It sounds like he said no. That's what I heard. But you all know that doesn't make sense, right? Because at the very beginning, he said he had a problem with it. Then the more they question him, the more he realizes, oh no. I'm not following my own philosophy here. I'm exposing myself too much. So he's trying to back it off like it's so light. Oh, he can pay for it, whatever. So now he said, would you have a problem if I went and watched it? So I did. I'm not watching it on Trisha's phone, but I watched it on OF. And he says, no, he wouldn't have a problem with it. Okay, Moses. Like, is there, are there any more rules for this? Interesting. <laughs> so again, he said, interesting. It is interesting because why does one thing make you angry? But now you're saying because you caught yourself, this other thing doesn't make wouldn't make you angry when it's the same thing. So I can't. What if he pays me five dollars right now? Trisha is not letting up because she knows what's going on. So she goes, all right, if the issue is about paying money and watching it on your own computer screen versus me showing it to you right now on my phone, if that's the only issue, the only issue is they want Ethan to sign up for it and pay for it. Why don't we have Ethan pay me right now? Just skip the middleman. And, and if Ethan pays her the $5, she's going to get the whole $5 because I'm pretty sure OF is like these other sites where they take 30 or 40% of whatever you get, right? So she's going to get the whole $5 from Ethan right now. It's a loophole, but it's, it'll work. And she can just show him the video. That seems reasonable. Well, let's go back to Moses. <laughs> no, I don't want... Can I go to your sister and show her me masturbating? Boom! Did you hear what this man said? Did you hear what this man just said? I put it up on the screen. So if you didn't hear it, you can read it because I heard him. That's where I wrote out what he said. Should I go to your sister and, and pleasure myself in front of her? You know why he said that? He's drawing the equivalent scenario. So he's going to say to Trisha, okay, if you want to do that, can I do this? The thing is, Moses, you did not draw a parallel situation. This is what Moses should have said. Trisha, would you like it if I went to your brother's wife and showed her a video on my phone of me pleasuring myself? 
That would be the equivalent, roughly. But Moses did not say, your brother's wife. Moses says, if I went to your sister, that's the parallel he's drawing. Now, what does Trisha's sister have to do with Moses' brother-in-law seeing his girlfriend naked? There is no parallel. There is none. But there is. This is the parallel he's drawing on. And again, I'm taking a bit of a leap, I know, but this is how I see it. Moses knows that Trisha has a jealousy towards her sister. Therefore, if he were to show her sister a video of him pleasuring himself, it would stir in her emotions of jealousy because, again, I feel that he knows it's not a secret that she is jealous of her sister. He doesn't even realize by him using that as the scenario to compare it to that he's exposing himself. So to me, in my mind, he's saying, Trisha, just like how you're jealous of your sister, you wouldn't want your sister to see a video naked of me. It's the exact same way that I am jealous of Ethan. And I would not want him to see a video of you naked. That's the parallel. And that's why he said it. I guess. If you, you, want. <laughs> you see, even Trisha will like, yeah, if you want. No, she, she wouldn't want that. But Trisha's not giving him an inch. Trisha's like, yeah, you can do it. Because she knows Moses is not going to do it in a sense because Moses is reserved. He likes to see he's open and free. But Moses, standing next to Trisha, you cannot say you're open, you're free, you're no judgment. You can't say that next to Trisha. Because even by the way she shows off her body, she's as open as they come and you are reserved. And that sticks out like a sore thumb next to Trisha. Because everything you say you are, Trisha embodies. <laughs> oh God, please, no. If that's please. your thing. No, is that your thing? He says, no, it's not my thing, but is that your thing? He's trying to turn it back around on Trisha. Yeah, I love showing people my squirting. I'm so proud of it. Boom, Trisha said, yeah, it's my thing. It is my thing. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it, Moses. It's my thing. Trisha is not giving him an inch. Yes, it's my thing. Now your turn, Moses. Again, Trisha's winning the argument because she's saying, it's my thing. Yeah, I want to show Ethan because I show everybody. So what's up? Yeah, if you want to show yourself to my sister, go ahead. But Trisha knows that Moses is reserved. He's not going to do that. That's why she can play off of him because she knows he's bluffing right now. Okay, that's my family. So hear what he says? Well, that's my family. That's the difference. You know why, Moses, I'm not buying that? Why didn't you say that at the beginning? Why are we going into different timelines and different scenarios and we're going like in the car back to the future? Why are you jumping through all these hoops when if you would have said at the beginning, oh, I don't want you to show me because we're family. OK, but at the very beginning, you just said, no, I don't want you to show him and it would make me mad. That's what you said at the beginning. And then now you say, oh, because we're family. First of all, I would have gave that to you if you were not a part of the OF collaboration with Trisha, her sister and her mom. Moses, you were there. Where were you, Moses, to say, oh, you guys are family. You shouldn't be doing that because it's family. Right? Because that's the excuse you're using here now. When in that video, the OF video, they were actually doing things versus this video is Trisha just showing Ethan something. Ethan, it wasn't in the room when she did it. She's just showing him a video of what happened. You knew that Trisha was in a bikini with her sister and her mom. You were there for that. And not once did you come out and say, oh, it's wrong because it was family. So, so, so Moses doesn't want me to see this. Well, you're yet. technically not fam. I mean, you're not blood related. We're family. He's my brother-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Trisha says you're not family. And then Ethan says we're family and brother-in-law. Ethan, you're giving this guy an out. I believe you love Moses. So you're giving him an out right now, but you know what? You and Moses aren't family as in blood family. I would even understand it if you, Ethan, were Moses' brother. And Moses says, no, nah, I don't want my brother to... <laughs> Ethan is not even your brother, Moses. He's your in-law. And I feel like this rule is only for Ethan. Like, you wouldn't care if anybody else in your family saw it. I believe you only care because it is Ethan and you're jealous of Ethan. And you're jealous of Ethan's relationship with Trisha. Oops. But let me get into that later. Okay. I won't. You want to describe it to me? Why no, are you so proud I'm about so it? I'm so proud because it hit the record button, so it stopped recording, and I was so proud of it. Dude, I don't think I can handle seeing okay, you squirt, to be I honest with I you. I won't, I won't. We have to control the delicate balance of the show. Once I see your ass squirting, then I think that might be the only thing I see when I see you, which isn't good. Okay. And not in a sexual way. 
I mean, look it's, at our ooh, way. <laughs> like, damn, fuck, what the fuck, what kind of way. And that's how it ends. They let him off the hook. And let's circle back to Logan one last time. Just like Moses, Logan's first statement was the true statement. He was sneaking me into his house for like three months and telling me to park my car for like five blocks away. Yeah, so been, no I've been there. Shit. I've been there. I've been there. Why? That's fucking a pussy yeah. move. No. Why do you do that shit? No, because Why? you, you want to hook up with your girl, but your boys don't support. So Cause. fucking grow some balls and nah, be like, nah, this nah, is bro. Nah. Saying he loved Jason enough to lie for him, that was the lie. Too. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, so I just I, I lied there too. I'm lying a lot in this podcast. Yeah. My love for Jason, pretty much like I'm trying to back up Jason because I love Jason. How do I know? His friends co-signed him by admitting that Logan had in fact had girlfriends he was too embarrassed to bring to his house. You do that, you don't have balls. You're scared of what your friends are saying about uh, you. Hell yeah, yeah bro. Fuck? Some judgmental people. Hold and on if a they second. Disagree, but, also don't, but also don't drag me into it, because remember what? this. I actually Ew, Logan's drop fucking you off at the house. Yeah, I've done it. Don't you lie. I've dropped you off. I'm all for it, dude. Yeah, you return the car home with no gas. Got him. Got him. We need to look more into this character because I haven't seen anybody really dig into this guy right here. So I'll do it because you would be very interested to see what I found out. Anyways, we're all good. I don't want to separate Moses from his family. I apologize. Like, I want him to be with his family. And we all. I want you all to come to the wedding. I want, like, okay, the and clout. We, and we. Thank <laughs> you. 